Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome to this extraordinarily rough cut video. I hope everyone had a wonderful 4th of July, and I hope they had enjoyed. hope you all enjoyed the video that I made uh, yesterday for 4th of July with the Apollo tribute. Now, <clears throat> because this is going to be a super rough video, there's going to be a lot of noise, and I apologize in advance, but hey, <laughs> you know what you're getting into when you click this damn thumbnail, didn't you? Alright, so... Yes, laugh it up, sweetheart. Um, so right now, uh, Kerbal Space Program is not responding. I don't know why. Oh, there it goes. But um, we're gonna go. Why did I hit load? That's weird. I didn't, I didn't mean to hit load. Um, we are going to uh, just test out a few things. This is kind of like the knickknacks rough video, and uh, there's a couple things that maybe some of you did know and some of you didn't know. So there's you know uh, something to look to look at right uh, for instance and we're just gonna do an SSTO thing right here and let's see if, if I have it somewhere around here Shh. there it is okay <clears throat> okay so some of you may have known some of you may have not known that uh, one shock cone can power four rapier engines this helps with uh, obviously drag part count and of course weight uh, so let's go ahead and test that out right now real quick SAS Z and spacebar now this is a mod that I've been using it's called real plumes I think it's broken I'm not sure but I think it's not so I don't know if it's supposed to do that if it is you know cool if not then Oh well. Gears up, and uh, let's go check out the drag. Okay, so other than the fact I'm going to show you that one rapier can run off of, uh, or excuse me, one shot cone can run four rapiers, I am also going to show you how to how to get rid of that pesky rapier uh, drag. Yeah, it'll help you out just a, just a pinch. Oh dear. Huh. Alright, we'll go at 15 degrees this time. Hopefully we'll get out of the thick atmosphere before we burn up. Okay, so we made it into orbit with one shot cone for four rapiers. Uh, yeah, well, that's that's cool. Uh, if you didn't know that, then, you know, uh, congratulations. Grab your diploma on the way out. And if you did know that, well, <clears throat> thank you for watching anyway. But I'm not done yet. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get rid of those drag on those rapiers. Okay, now this is pretty old school. So if you're old school and you know what the heck I'm about to do, then congratulations, you're an old fart. If you... <laughs> <laughs> if if you have no clue what I'm about to do, well, congratulations, you're a young fart. So, let's go ahead and move on to this. And we're just going to go ahead and put that right there and put these in there like that so they don't burn up. And like this, okay, and like that. Right, okay, looking good, looking good. Not symmetrical, but that's fine. Who, who knows? Who cares? Oh, yeah. it, moving on, we're just going to test out the drag. All right, uh, drag test. Uh, let's go. Let's do this. Full power. All right, testing out drag. And nope. Hmm. Oh, 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 look, they're teeny tiny. They're teeny tiny compared to... Weren't they like way back here last time? The drag was significantly, significantly larger. So yeah, those made a difference. 
those made a difference. Awesome. Congratulations. Uh, <clears throat> hopefully, uh, this will help you out in your next build. The whole uh, four rape years, one air intake, and reduced drag uh, thing. And then, oh my god. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> fireworks. Old school fireworks before the, you know, one part was given to us. Anyway, moving on. You know, uh, I'm actually thinking that the reduction of drag made it go faster, even though I used 15 degrees last time and made it into orbit fine without burning up. The less drag made me go faster and made me burn up anyway this time around. So we're probably going to have to put our nose up to 20 degrees next time we do this. And this is what I want to show you all. This is what I want to show you guys. I'm just going to do this real quick. Move this out of the way. Okay, this is what I call a re-entry com control module. Uh, I remember, I think it was, I can't remember, it was V4 Virus that came up with it first and then everyone copied them. But we're talking old, old school. And let's see here. I miss V4 Virus. I wish he, I wish he'd come back. I think he was an actual aeros aerospace engineer. He made some incredible stuff. He was the first air hogging SSTO creator, and everybody just jumped on that. So, you're, um, why am I using a uh, docking port? Because it has a. See this? See this big green ball right here? That that's pretty big on the docking port. That means the green ball me basically means structural structural integrity between two parts. The bigger, the better, right? Um, because if I was to use uh, one of these struts, look how look how, look how small this little ball here is. That that's not gonna that's not gonna help us. All right, so here it is. Okay, we have two controls. We have one straight, right? But we're gonna grab the back one, and we're gonna make sure that our toggle snap is on, and just grab the red and just uh, but just over one, just it. That's it. And then we're gonna go into our actions. And we'll put this like on an action group so that we can toggle this bent one, this crooked one, as in control from here, right? And then number four, we're just gonna have control from here with the straight one. And this is why. Okay, so you're, when you're going in back into the atmosphere and you're about to land back in Kerbin, re entry, a lot of times you're gonna have problems trying to keep straight. Or even, no, even pro problems trying to keep up, trying to slow down. I've seen a lot of people flip out of control. I've seen a lot of people where they think they've got it and then it just takes them away. I've seen other people where they d dive in, who cares, I don't care, just dive in like a bat out of hell. However, interestingly enough, if you do this and you select control on this part, this is what's going to try to do. You select control of this part and then you hit prograde. Immediately, that back probe core is going to want to level out according to the prograde that's over here. However, it's a trick because your craft is actually looking like this. So the entire time it's coming through the atmosphere, or you know, re-entry, it's got its nose up. And it's going to stay like that because its probe core that you're on is going to continuously try to go for the prograde that's in front of the craft. You know, the, the direction of travel for the for the craft. So, yeah, that's 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 the thing. You, you know, you click back over to the straight and narrow when you get through the whole reentry bit, and you're good. So that is the neat little old school uh, <clears throat> reentry control module build close there we go all right well, i hope this helped you out and uh, uh happy SSTOing. is that even a thing i don't, I don't know i don't know love you all see you later to see what oh i'm going to bed <clears throat> bye bye yo, peace. peace yo peace out peace that just sounds so wrong for me to say that Die, you know.